Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error that says that you, you cannot create a file when the file already exists. So if you're trying to have an issue with the service on your device manager, this tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle here. First thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and check for updates in Windows Update. So go ahead and open up Windows Update. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not even going to show it because it's very easy to do. Just type in Windows Update in the Start menu, check for updates, and then restart your computer once the updates have been installed. Hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, another thing we can try would be to open up the Start menu, type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best manage to come back a registry editor right about desktop app. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go left click on yes. And now before you do any modifications to the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So in order to do that, it's quite simple. Just left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on export. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer that you'll easily be able to retrieve if you need it to in the future. Make sure export range is selected to all and then just go click on save. And then if you ever needed to come back from a backup, you just would do file import. So pretty straightforward. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and expand the HKEY local machine folder. So either double click on the folder itself or left one little arrow next to it to expand it. Then you want to do the same thing for the system folder. Do the same thing now for current control set. Expand services. And now you want to go look for the S card SVR service. So I'm going to have to scroll down to the S's here. Right here. So again, S C A R D S V R. You can pause the video as well. You can see the path that we have went underneath on the top of this registry editor screen right here. So you can clearly see if you have to rewatch the video or just pause it to catch up. Go ahead and see the path that we have up at the top of this registry editor. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and right click on the right side here. Now you want to look for the D word value that says start. So it should be near the bottom of the list here. You want to go ahead and double click on that. So at this point, the value data is very important. If you want to set it to automatic, you're just going to type 2. Manual is going to be set at 3, and disabled is 4. So again, automatic is 2, manual is 3, and disabled is 4. So change it to whatever you want here. So if you want to disable, just delete whatever's in here, type the number 4. If you want to set it to automatic, delete the 4 or whatever, type 2. So don't spell out any of these numbers, just type the number itself. So there should be one character in here. And once you're done with that, go ahead and left click on OK to save the change. Close out of here. Hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.